I am no one, Gabrielle. I have no sparkles. Hi, guys. And we're going to have a little fun today. I feel like we're in for something really good. <laughs> she looks dangerous and fun. <laughs> right on. Hi guys, this is Play It Again. I'm Ginger. And I'm Mike. And we hear that it's Gary Newman's birthday. I hear it's a big one. Little bird told me 65. 65. That's not that big. <laughs> I mean... It's, it's not as far away as it once looked. It's true. I'm only saying that because I'm turning 50 this year and I'm like, 65 actually doesn't feel that big anymore. <laughs> mm, my birthday's in a week and uh, it's already not 50. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, but uh, to be 65 and still be dish doling out good music the way Gary Newman does is mad props, man. Impressive. Yeah. It's, uh, and I mean, when you do it better than the Stones. Sorry, I know that's going to get me some hate, but it's true. <laughs> yeah. It's true. I'd it much is rather get listen to hate. Gary Newman's song. So anyway, happy birthday, Gary. Yes. To, not that he'll probably ever see it. But no, but thank you for your good work. Yes, I'm appreciating it. So I found a live performance of A Prayer for the Unborn, which is a song we don't know. Or no, I don't think I, I know. Don't, I don't think I know that one. Yeah. So ready? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, that's an old performance. me on edge. Is that Trent Reznor? Yeah. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you. 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 That was extraordinary. It's tough to beat Intruder, but I think I have a new favorite. <sighs> you make a really good point there. Intruder was my favorite, but I think mm. this might now be. That was beautiful. I love, okay. If ever there was a natural soundtrack for like a multi-generational intergalactic journey, it's that. <laughs> And um, so much of his music, but that one in particular, I felt like whatever's happening right now is epic. It was absolutely drenched in atmosphere. Just oh, beautiful. <laughs> I know. Over uh, the top. I felt the same it's way. So good. I loved it. Oh, yeah. I love the soundscapes in his stuff. But that one was exceptionally good. It was mellower than most of the, the stuff we've heard from him in the last 10 to 20 years. Mm hmm. Well, yeah, like lots of times he has a really kind of crunchy synth that I love. And it was less of that in here, but it was there was so much of the the higher sounding synth, the long uh, like sustained, uh, sustained chord yeah. that just filled in so nicely that you were not even missing it. And at the end there where he wasn't singing, but he was on the guitar. And the bang, ding, yeah, that was really something. It, was, it added such a great layer to it oh that was mesmerizing how good that was i think that was trent Reznor on the guitar maybe i, I have to know. look it up I, it's been a long time since i've seen his face so but i know we've seen him on the tambourine <laughs> it's true with with gary before so who knows yes clearly they right? know each other yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> that was so good yeah i'm gonna have to look that one up and put it on my spotify list too Yes, the thought had occurred to me. Oh. <laughs> so once again, happy birthday to Gary yes. Newman. Thank you for all the years of music. It has yes. almost literally been the soundtrack of our lives, especially lately. Yes. Oh, yeah, so, the last year or two. Lots mm -hmm. of Gary Newman. And in the meantime, you can play it again. Or does it get stuck in your... <laughs> Ginger's got the practical question. <laughs> I'll hold your upper part still while you shake, baby. Help you learn. <laughs> A coconut just fell right behind us. You good, bro. And we go, dude.